Good morning, everyone here. Uh, I'm Shen Kai from University of Science and Technology I'm from China. Well, first, I have to thank the organizers here for the invitation and uh, give it's uh, my great honor to be here. I think it's very uh, good, to, uh, it's very nice activities I enjoy. Okay. Uh, is that better? Okay. Sorry for that. And today my topic is uh, satellite based uh, QKD network. I talk about uh, uh, the missile satellite and our new uh, micro satellite called, called G9 number one and the design and the experiment carried uh, by them. In the background of the, uh, the SNES is a photon when the missile satellite pass over the ground station in Yanshan in, uh, in China and it's very beautiful and the green line is the laser from the uh, missile satellite. And this is our uh, my, my, uh, out now of the, the talk. Uh, first is uh, some background and the uh, missile satellite and the experiment and also some challenge about it. And uh, next uh, talk about the small aerial satellite and uh, the daytime QKD we plan to go for high orbit satellite and the outlook. Uh, we talk about uh, the, the information security and uh, uh, I think it's very uh, good for the, the, the traditional cryptography and the, the, the base, the security base is uh, algorithm and the case and as the mathematical development and also the computing uh, power increase, especially the uh, quantum computing, uh, we have a lot of challenges here and so some, we are going to find uh, some uh, new solutions to this and uh, the, the PQC and also the uh, QKD. Uh, thanks to the, 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 the Bennett and Brassat, the first protocol and the, the, the BBH4 and we have the, some way to distribute the, uh, the, the information theoretical security keys and together with the quantum pair or the AS and uh, the, the, the uh, encryption algorithm we can uh, secure our information deliver and so on. So there are also the channels we, we both know we can use uh, Fibro and also using the free space channel. Uh, lots of work have been done and a lot of talks about the Fibro channel and uh, just uh, the, the free space channel we can use the, the uh, if you can see each other we can send the photons between the two and also we can use the satellite in out space to, to send the photons. Just uh, the, the talk before, it's a, uh, it's a very great work I think in between the cars and the donors and uh, we give some uh, experiment about the satellite to our ground stations. And there are, uh, the first uh, experiment is about uh, in 1989 and the distance is about 32 uh, centimeter and after that a lot of uh, scientists or engineering in the pursuit to uh, expand the distance between the, 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 the send the transmitter and the receiver and uh, after about 20 years the distance is beyond 100 kilometer and now we can with the, the uh, new protocol MDI and the TFQKD and the, the, the distance is, is 10 to uh, 1,000 kilometer. And I think uh, Professor Liu Yang have talked about uh, this is a new uh, red record in, a, in a, a fiber channel. And with, it's a, a little bit mature here in, in, uh, in, in fiber and a lot of companies and just uh, panelists in uh, to see and at Cure and show the, uh, the, the product here and also in China there are uh, some networks and the first one is uh, uh, some uh, interstate in, um, metric network in Beijing, Jinan, Hefei, Shanghai and Wuhan and also built a, a 
we call it Beijing Shanghai quantum backbone to connect it. The distance is about 2,000 uh, kilometer. And, and uh, next, we also expand uh, another, we call it the National Quantum Backbone Network. Uh, you can see in the map, the red one is also is a, the Beijing Shanghai Backbone Network, and the uh, green one is a new. And the distance between the Harbin and uh, Eastern to Guangzhou in uh, north of China, and also in Chongqing, and uh, it connected to Shanghai. The whole distance of the, the, the fibre uh, uh, network is about uh, is above about twelve thousand kilometer in China, and a lot of uh, customers and users uh, in the, in the uh, using the, the, the network. And just we, we, we talk about the, 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 the laws of the, between the using the fiber uh, using the fiber channel it is, it is, uh, is prone show to the, 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 the distance. So we can see if you, it's very hard to extend the, uh, the distance between uh, above one thousand or several or a five thousand uh, kilometer. So we point our eyes to the, the free space uh, because there's a little automation out of the space for, for the phantoms. So uh, Professor Jian Wei Pan proposed the satellite based uh, quantum communication project we call uh, Mrs. Satellite. And there are three uh, scientific girls, and one is the, the, the satellite, uh, the, the space to ground uh, quantum key distribution, and the other two is uh, uh, the entanglement distribution and also the uh, quantum uh, teleportation from the ground station to the satellite. We took uh, about five years to uh, design and uh, to, to design the payloads in the missile satellite. There are four main payloads here, and there are two telescopes in the up the uh, photo, and the big one is. Uh, uh, at the diameter of the uh, uh, telescope is about 300 millimeter, and uh, the red one is about uh, 200 millimeters, and it also have a turntable here. And the left one can send photons uh, for the decoy state and also entanglement uh, photons, and also can receive the, the photons from the ground station, and the other can send the both the coil states, photons, and also the, 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 the entanglement photons. And also there are uh, entanglement source here. It can generate the, uh, the, the entanglement photons at the repetition uh, rate at about uh, eight megahertz. And also there are uh, controller, there are TTC, and the, the random number generators here. And it's very different. It's, it's a little bit different between the, the, the payloads here with the, 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 the instrument we used in the laboratory. And you know, after launch, the, we can't repair and also we can't adjust the, 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 the instrument out of the, in the in out space. And so with the, the reliability and also the robust, this is very important to us. We have to make it work Properly after the the, 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 the the launch, there's very variations and also the high temperature and low temperature and also vacuum and also the radiations in outer space. It's a it's a lot of uh, technical issues or uh, engineering uh, work have to, to to do. And after that, and in till today, the music standard is working about the same years, and it's launched at uh, 2016. And also we demonstrated several experiments. The first one is uh, called Satnet to quant uh, quantum key distribution. We together with uh, Xinlong ground station, and the diameter of the, the, the telescope is in, in Xinlong is about one meter. And the final key rate is about 1.1. 1 .1 
keep BPS. And also we can do uh, the, the, the QKD between different uh, ground stations in, in Nansha and in uh, ground station uh, with our uh, team in Austria and in uh, Grass. And with uh, SatNet as a relay, we share the, the keys between the ground stations and also we uh, protect uh, in the continued uh, video conference between the uh, uh, Chinese Academy of Science and also the Austrian Academy of Science. We, we, we call this uh, uh, in the continued content link here. And just as I mentioned before, we have an integument source in the SatNet, and also we can uh, do the QKD based uh, integument. And the first one is we, we detect or uh, assemble one of the, the photons in the SatNet and the other central ground station, and uh, we generate the final key about 3.5 BPS. And one thing you have to mention is that there are only 1% of the photons in the SatNet is sampled or detected. So if we, if we sample 100% of the photons of the other, and we can get a much more higher uh, uh, final key rate. And also after the improvements of the efficiency between SatNet and ground stations, so we can use the, uh, detector, the, the, the photons detected in ground stations to share the the, 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 the final keys. And this is, uh, we get the final key about 0 0.12 BPS with two one mid uh, test scope receivers. And this case can just loan to the two ground stations and the, the sat net, we know nothing about, nothing about the, 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 the keys. And after that, we did a lot of international cooperation between uh, with our uh, colleges in Austria, Spain, Italy, Canada, and Russia. And also there are lots of uh, uh, demonstrations between the SatNet and the different ground stations in China and also in on over. And uh, another thing is to the first generation of our ground station is very big. Uh, the diameter of the the, the, the telescope is about one meter or 1.2 meter. So it's very bigger and it's not convenient for the users to, 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 to generate the keys with the SatNet. And so after that, we built the, the next generation, the, set, the, the ground station. And this one is with a diameter of about 280 millimeter. And the weight of the, 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 the optical head is, uh, you know, 100 kilograms. And also we can move it uh, in the cars or some, some ships. And also the, uh, with the big one, we also improved the efficiency and optimize the, 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 the some protocol of the one station with the barrels uh, and the different the, the parameter and we get uh, much more uh, improvements and we can get the final key rate at 48, uh, 47 uh, kbps at one passage to get the, the, the above 10 megabits at one pass over the ground station and also we extend the distance between sat and ground station at, at, about, at a distance about 2000 kilometer. And also, we combine the, the SatNet and also the fab network in China and the, to deliver the, some service to the customers. There are more than 150 users here. And also, the link distance is about 4,000 uh, 4, kilometers. And a lot of work is here for the uh, stability and availability testing and also for a practical uh, security research. And I think it's a, it's a very important test bench in China to, uh, to, to, to do some research for the uh, standardization. And, uh, <clears throat> and, but there are also some limitations and also we have a lot of challenge. And as I think it's the most important one is uh, it's very, the sad is very heavy. 
is very expensive. So, and the, the single uh, uh, SatNet can serve uh, several users, but if you can do the lots of users, hundreds or thousands of users all the globe, one SatNet is not enough. So we, maybe we can just like the standing or, or some other project one way or and um, launch some, some several SatNet to, to construct a constellation. But so at that time, we have to uh, make it more cheaper here for the SatNet. And the other is uh, we can only uh, work in, in the net in, in daytime. We can't work yet. Also, we have moved to the second part and I talk about uh, a smaller one or some cheaper LEO sign net. At the same time, we, maybe uh, we know there are lots of uh, communication projects uh, proposed all over the global. And the, the, the first, I think, maybe the, the Singapore team proposed, uh, uh, launched their uh, uh, entitlement source to the set to choose art space to, to have a test. And also, just this year, the uh, Ethereum team, the uh, Tau Sand 3, launched to the to choose art space. And also, there are other uh, projects uh, in uh, Canada, uh, Germany, uh, UK, and also European, the, the Eagle One. And the, maybe they are, are launched in. Uh, so in several years, but you can see it's very small. It's a we call it is a nano set net, uh, and with the, uh, the the telescope or the it's a little bit small here. But for the for the use, I think the the key rate uh, it can get not only the the, the transmit but also the the, the receiver. So there is the main uh, part of the, the, the link loss between the standard and the station and is uh, geometrical efficiency. And it's uh, part to this formula and uh, the, up, uh, uh, the part of it is uh, diameter of the sender or transmitter and also the diameter of the uh, uh, receive uh, telescope. So if you uh, make uh, trade off to so we have to make trade off uh, people between the sat net and our ground station. So, all, uh, with a small transmitter, and we need a bigger, uh, big receiver. And also, we can if we use a big transmitter, we can uh, using a small receivers. So, you for uh, in our opinion, and maybe there are some hundreds or thousands of ground stations here. So. We think it's proper to, 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 to using a small receiver. You can't use it a uh, certain time of the, the, the telescope to use. So there are uh, important trade-off between our project, the transmitter diameter of the telescope in the satellite. Uh, we, make, uh, we choose about uh, 200 millimeter to make the, the beam of the divergence at, at a scale of 10 megaradians. So you have to build a smaller payload, small set net, and make uh, it much more uh, cheaper. And the first uh, uh, attempt is uh, uh, at the same time for museum set net. We development a compact um, uh, uh, panels at the rate of about 59 kilogram and install it into the uh, Tiangong number two space station or uh, space nav here. And also we demonstrate the, the, the aggregate between the sand and the North ground station and also the Nansen ground station and uh, uh, Lijiang, De Linha, uh, Xinlong and uh, from a small uh, network here. But in, at this time, the, uh, the divergence of the, 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 the quantum beams is not to the, the, the limitation uh, limit of the, the whole telescope so that what this angle is about 40 uh, micro radians here so we get a much lower uh, final case here and 
so so we have to move move on and uh, the, maybe you can know there are a lot of uh, size of satnet here, the not satnet, and the missing satnet is that the scale is about 600 kilo, uh, kilogram. And uh, lots of project proposed uh, in, uh, in Europe is at a scale about 10 gram or whole satnet. And because we choose a little bit large uh, telescope here, so we uh, need uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, max at a scale of 100 kilogram and so this is our telescope and uh, is turned into a, a small satellite and together with other other uh, panels here and I think it is you should make it more small and uh, not crossed and at, the, at that and there are lots of uh, uh, we call the key uh, technologies here, and the first one is uh, uh, the tracking. Just mentioned the, the, the last talk. We have to the divergence angle of the uh, photons from the satellite to ground station is very small, is about ten uh, mega radians, and the support of the the, the beam after trans. Uh, trans transforming at uh, 1,000 kilometer, the spot diameter about uh, 10 meter here. So we have to point at very high uh, per seam. So as I mentioned before, there are 10 table in Mises and then, and also in Tiangong satellite, the, the, there are 10 table here. And uh, at this time, we uh, animated it and uh, we put the telescope into the, the satellite and also using the satellite as, as to, to, to point to a ground station to form a course and tracking. And also we install a camera camera here to the uh, attitude control loop and to, to detect the errors between the, 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 the pointing and the, 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 the right directions and also we get a pressing of uh, 0 0.03 uh, for uh, degree at this is and also together with the fan tracking uh, based on a much higher repetition camera cameras and the PCT uh, actors and we get the fan tracking at 1.2 mega radians so the, the after travel about one thousand kilometers the, the jet of the the point is about uh, one meter here and the second one is uh, decoy source and this is uh, the scheme we used in uh, Mrs. Satnet and uh, based on eight laser dots and uh, they can generate a different uh, polarization and a different uh, signal or decoy it's a very simple scheme, and uh, but it's very big, and also the, the, it's uh, the, it's very uh, robust. But there are sometimes we, when we development, uh, we research with uh, practical uh, security. We see maybe there are some other uh, side channel uh, leaking here, so it's not a very good scheme for the for the source, and. So this time we use a, a much uh, thing. We use, still use the BB84 decoy state and uh, uh, using the polarization uh, uh, encoding. And this time we using a single laser and together with the signal, signal interference moderation for not only the amplitude moderation and also for the polarization uh, moderate and a uh, whole source is all fabled and so it's have a uh, high re reliability here and also a compact size and the wavelength of the, the, the laser is using eight, uh, 850 nanometer and also with the the the, the, the high precision tracking uh, link between the satellite and ground station we also use 
uh, uh, multiplexing uh, the, 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 the uh, op optical communication and the, with the, the, the quantum photons. As we know, we after the, the, uh, send the photons generation and the detectors here, and we also need a key uh, titration process, or you call the process process to get, uh, to get the final key. So we using the laser communication to do this. So we can generate the, the, the get the final key at the real time when the the, the the satnet pass over the ground stations, and uh, also the the the, the wavelength you use for downlink is uh, three or eight hundred and twelve nanometer, and for uplink is about fifteen eight uh, thirty eight nanometer, and we can get the real time distillation to get the the, the the final key, and so we, after that we get our uh, QD payloads at uh, the weight about uh, 33 kilogram. And also we used to uh, install it to a uh, small satellite we call the GNN number one. Now, and the whole satellite, the weight is about 96 kilogram. And also uh, satellite, but also there are, you have to do, uh, Development, uh, develop uh, the ground stations, and we saw uh, using a little bit small one here. The diameter of the telescope is about two hundred and eight millimeter, and also the head. There are the KVD, there are single photon detectors here, and also the laser communication uh, equipment here, and also we uh, manufacture some uh, several. Uh, here and we test uh, just on the top of the, our buildings here and to, to, to get to test the uh, performance. So there is a simple uh, comparison between the, the panels in the music satellite and our new satellite, uh, our new satellite and also in the, uh, the weight is about one to six. Uh, redu reduction and also the decoys they source there are will be rotation rates improved to 325 megahertz and using a single laser skins and also the key distribution uh, in music using a microwave, microwave or radio channel to upload and to down the, 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 the debt is uh, cost a lot of time to apply the chance for the for, for, for the data transfer. And uh, in this time we're using the laser uh, communications. So can we uh, use, uh, do it at uh, uh, real time? So we are very lucky here. We launched successfully the, 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 the uh, satellite to the uh, orbit at about 500 successfully uh, last year. And uh, we also uh, did some tests here. And uh, this is a uh, uh, ground station here. And, uh, let me see the video. So when the, the satellite pass, you can tracking and get the, 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 the keys at the real time. And also, there, yes, yeah, there are a result of one passage at about uh, September uh, last year. Uh, and uh, in the top, the blue one is uh, the distance between the satellite and ground station is very from 1,500 uh, uh, kilometers to about uh, nine, uh, 800 kilometers. And also this, the red one is uh, low key counts and the maximum is about 40 uh, qbps. And the left is uh, QBR in blue, uh, in green. And the maximum is about 1.6% and the lowest one at uh, about 0.8%. I think it's very good result for us to, to see that it's a quite low QBR here. 
and also we generate the, the keys at uh, some package here and uh, we get uh, about 400 key bits per passage. And uh, one thing I have to mention here, when the uh, diff distance uh, varied and we get different uh, key, uh, the, the raw key rate and uh, we calculate, we, we connect the about 100 key bits, zip the key and, do, and then to do the error correction. And also we connect about 500 key bits we can do and then we, after the error correction, uh, correction we uh, analyze the QBR and also we uh, do the uh, primacy uh, amplification to get the final keys. So there are several uh, steps here and this is the first one and this is the second and the third and the fourth here and the total keys is about 400. And just mentioned before, we can use the, the generate the uh, KKD the real uh, at the real time, and also using the nasal communication, so we can also uh, transfer the the, the, the data. We can uh, so at the same we at the uh, half the, the hit uh, half pass of the. Set, uh, the, 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 the passage of the satellite and ground station, we, we generate the keys and we, with the fresh keys, we can also encoding, uh, encryption the, 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 the data from the ground station and then upload to the satellite at the same time. And then when the satellite to pass over another ground station, and we so also can generate the New keys and download the the the, the data from send that to the ground station and with the relay, and the ground station can get the final key. The same with the encryption keys, so we can decrypt to get the, the data. So in this time, we can say we the the, the, the send that here is just like a customer. Uh, in, 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 in space, we can not only to generate keys, but also can transfer some data for the customers here. So this is uh, the, the, the second one for the LU SatNet. And if there are lots of customers here or users or some requirement, we can launch lots of uh, several uh, SatNet to construct our constellation to, to do a much more uh, powerful service here. And to next, now you know, send that ground station, the, the QQD, we can only uh, get the positive final keys in the net because we can see each other in, in daytime, it's a lot of uh, photons from the, the sun, and also it's a, a big noise to, to the free space channel. So at uh, it's about uh, five to eight uh, to seven or eight orders than that of the net. So it's very uh, difficult for us to 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 to, to realize the that net to ground station uh, uh, QKD at a long uh, uh, distance with a, a, a little bit low uh, SNR, and so we have to. Improve, improve the filters, the spectral, or uh, uh, spatial, and also the time. And the first attempt is uh, doing at, is done at about two thousand and eighteen, and you using uh, a, a new band other than the eight hundred is uh, at uh, uh, fifteen fifty nanometer, and uh, there are. There is no, a little bit of noise here compared to the, the, the uh, 800 uh, band. And also you're using a, a conversion single photon detectors here and with a spectrum field at about 0 0.6 nanometer. And there are, we use the emissions at about 10 nanometer. And the third is the development of a single fiber 
uh, single mode fiber coupling here and the spans and or the, the, the FOV of the, the, the receiver is about uh, uh, 10 megarins and to animate the, uh, the noise. And also we demonstrate the uh, daytime free space KKD at the uh, distance about uh, 53 kilometer and the final key is about 22 400 bps and it can work not all the day you can we get the the, the keys at about 5 pm in, in the daytime so you have to improve and uh, together with the the next communication we improved the the, the time jitter and also we improved the spatial uh, field to about uh, 0 0.03 nanometer here and uh, we saw the demonstrate uh, uh, 24 hours free space security at a scale of 20 kilometer and this is uh, uh, some result here the final key rate is about uh, uh, 6 at 60 bps to 1.8 kbps and the, the, the iteration between the transmitter and the receiver is about uh, 48 to uh, 15, uh, 50 uh, db here so it's a little bit next to the, 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 the high orbit uh, uh, satellite to ground stations. So it's a, a lot of advantages here. They can, they can long time, if you can, uh, using a geo satellite, the, the satellite is stay uh, above your head all the time uh, for 24 hours. And also you can have a large coverage and we can use it, a three satellite can cover or the, the, the whole group. So, but we, you know, the, 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 the scheme we have to much more, uh, much larger uh, telescope in the, in, in the satellite and also in ground station because the distance is much, much uh, longer than the LEO satellite. The distance in the GEO, they are about 40,000 uh, kilometer here. And the LEO, there might be uh, 1,000 or 2,000 kilometer here. So the not of rock have to uh, conquer here, or uh, this our new task here. So uh, it's uh, just the end of our uh, talk. And I think there's a lot of things you have to do. And uh, uh, just the talk, just uh, the panelist said, we have to integrate our QQD together with the uh, communication systems and you can uh, in China the in the in the, the FIBO, there are also a lot of cooperation between the the, the QKD uh, supplier and also the tele uh, tele uh, uh, communication uh, companies here and also we think that if there are lots of applications here and we can improve the whole performance and know the the the, the, pipe, the, the, the cost to, to to make a positive uh, circle or uh, uh, systems here to improve the uh, performance or also know the the, the, the the cost and also there are lots of uh, talk about the chips I think it's a very good way to 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 know the price or the 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 mass or the ways of the sunlight and we are still going to do with this and now the, the chips have to uh, survive with uh, uh, in the outer space environment and also i think it's uh, another important thing is the practical security and uh, i think lots of uh, scientists or engineering are talking about it and uh, and also the uh, standardization and the certification there are some results here in, in, in for the fiber uh, QQD systems and there are uh, little here for space uh, 
standardization, and I think our community have to uh, to, 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 to dig some research here, and uh, some maybe yeah, I'll give some uh, a face to, to 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 much more users to to believe that it's very uh, it's a good thing and it's uh, uh, it's, a, it's a skill to distribute the key, keys. And the last, I think, uh, our new set edge here, um, we can't change the hardware or the optics in the set net, but uh, this time we designed a new and the software of the G9 set net can uh, we upload to the set net. So if you have some good ideas, maybe you can share and to uh, welcome some cooperation between the, 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 the LEO set net and the ground stations here, uh, just like our missiles uh, did with uh, uh, cooperation with uh, uh, our teams here. And uh, last, I have to think, thank our cooperators here in, uh, in some uh, university or institute in, in, our, in our China, and maybe some uh, scientists here you can join us. Okay, thank you. That's all. So do we have questions? Oh, first, thank you for your talking. And I have a question about the diameter of the telescope. Within the daytime or uh, daytime satellite, uh, if we use the large telescope within the ground teles uh, ground station, that it means it will have a high background noise. So in my insight, we need to use the small diameter of the telescope, then it means within the telescope it should be a larger telescope diameter. Is there any optimized, uh, yeah, optimized about that? Okay, thank you. It's a very good uh, question here. Um, but in our opinion, the point is not the, the how big of the telescope. The, the, the key point is the FOV, the field of the view from the, the detectors or the that connect to the uh, the, the uh, detectors here. So in our new ground stations, we are some uh, permit to operate to get the FOV with uh, uh, big set, uh, big telescope and a very small uh, FOV here, and to 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 reduce the, the incoming noise here. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the talk, really interesting. Uh, my question is regarding the daytime. Uh, you already pointed out that 1550 nanometers is giving you a better noise compared to 800 nanometers. Uh, but I was wondering, uh, do you think that there are other suitable candidates, other Fraunhofer lines that could be good for daylight communication? Uh, yeah, the, the I think the first choice is the, the 15 and 19, but they also uh, have disadvantages. And the, compared to, to the, the, the short uh, wavelength here, at the same scale uh, telescope, is a little bit, uh, the divergence angle is a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. And it's not good for the the, 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 the efficiency and uh, yes you're right there are some we are working on some other choice here then um, sometimes we call it dark lamp in the sun so in the sun there, there are this is the spectrum of the soil but if you see they can see the the sun uh, in particular uh, wavelengths there are dark 
the uh, the 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 net from the somewhere absorbed in some atoms in the atmosphere uh, atmosphere in the in the uh, in the sun. So we and some other choice is uh, dark net uh, uh, wavelengths here. We also did some uh, in about eight hundred maybe uh, eight hundred fifty. Uh, four and also some other choice uh, in, in much shorter uh, uh, wavelengths here. You know, there, there are a lot of darkness here, I think. Okay, so we have a question over there also. Yeah, my question is regarding just, uh, it's related to what he asked. So if you use 1550, you mentioned that you wanted to integrate it into uh, fiber networks. Integration, you mean as the free space uh, from satellite beam going into the fiber network yeah. uh, as a relay yeah. or as an external no, as, an, as a relay okay yeah, yeah. so that points more to 1550 nanometers right yeah okay thank you 